Hey guys, so today with a little help from Algae Barn, we're going to be talking about refugiums. More importantly, hang on refugiums. So first off, let's go ahead and just talk about the benefits of a refugium, kind of what a refugium is. So a refugium is basically a smaller tank that's either hung on the back of your main tank, like this one, or is located beneath your main tank in a sump. In your refugium, you'll mainly have some sort of macroalgae that acts as nutrient export. And that is actually one of the main purposes of a refugium is nutrient export. So as water is either sucked down to your sump or sucked up into your hang on refugium, all the nitrates and phosphates that are in your water come with the water, obviously, and become food for the macroalgae you have growing in your refugium. So basically it's a nutrient export by the means of it will remove nitrate and phosphate from your water through that macroalgae. Some other benefits to refugiums are they add tank volume, meaning your tank parameters would be more stable because you're adding to your display volume. And also they can become a safe haven for copepods. If you have fish like mandrinets, dragonets that will eat copepods, it's a nice area to have them breeding to where the fish can't eat them. So you have a constant supply of copepods to your tank. Now that I've told you all the benefits, you probably want a refugium in your reef tank if you do not have one. Well, this is where Algae Barn comes in. Algae Barn sells a refugium starter pack comes with all the stuff you need to start a refugium except the lighting and the body of water that you're going to keep it in. Basically you go ahead and you'll get some nitrifying bacteria which you can go ahead and dose into the refugium and even the tank. This will give your tank a jump start on the cycle. You'll also get some little marine pure blocks which will be a safe haven for the copepods. They can breed in there and that will also provide an amazing spot for beneficial bacteria to grow. You'll also get some Cato macroalgae which is that macroalgae that actually grows in the refugium to extract the nutrients from the water. You'll get the live ocean magic phytoplankton, which is a great food for the copepods as well as your corals. Phytoplankton is very beneficial to add to your reef tank as it will help feed the copepods like I mentioned, increase your coral growth because corals love to filter this stuff out of the water. Any feather dust or stuff like that will greatly appreciate this stuff. And it will also help reduce nuisance algae. And then the last thing you'll get is a sample of copepods. So it is probably very hard for you to see right now. But if you look closely, you'll actually see the copepods swimming around in there. And those are basically the food for your fish and what will help give your refugium a kickstart. These guys will be breeding in your refugium, creating an amazing food source for your corals and fish. So setting up the refugium is very easy. If you have a hang on model like me, all you have to do is hang it on your tank, throw your Kato or your macroalgae of any type into the back. Then you can go ahead and add your lighting, which I have just some LED plant lights right here, and you're basically done. So now that your refugium is all set up, it's time to add our copepods into the tank. So basically, they'll be delivered in a bottle just like this, and you're just going to go ahead and float this in your aquarium to get them kind of temperature acclimated. Next, we're going to turn off our filters or return pumps or wave makers. Basically, these wave makers or return pumps can, you know, blow around the copepods and suck them up. We do not want that. So we're going to go ahead and turn those off, and then if you have any filter socks running in your sump, go ahead and remove those. Now by making the tank dark, you're essentially going to make the fish think it's time for them to sleep. They'll kind of go down, do their thing, and in the meantime, while we're going to add our copepods, the fish won't be out avidly hunting them. This will give a chance for the copepods to establish in the refugium and establish in the tank. After about an hour or so, I'll go ahead and just turn the lighting back on and that will be it. Once the copepods are in and established, it's time to start dosing the tank with phytoplankton. So basically, you're going to want to go ahead and dose phytoplankton every other day. And right here are those directions for dosing it. And also you can go ahead and store it in the refrigerator and this will just help it live a little bit longer because this phytoplankton is alive. So once your refugium is all set up, your copepods will start to breed, start to have more and more copepods and soon your tank will be covered in them. These provide, like I said, an amazing food source for fish or corals and are extremely beneficial parts of a cleanup crew in your reef aquarium. Continuing to dose the phyto will also really help the copepods grow even more and like I said earlier will definitely benefit your coral. So that is pretty much it and my reasons on why you need a refugium. Thanks again to Algae Barn. Their links will be down below if you want to go ahead and check out the refugium starter pack or even just order some copepods from them. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.